how you can manipulate the handcuffs on the individual and utilize it. going to cause you to actually look inside that chamber, okay, so you can figure out your next course of action. So what you're going to do is place the gun. And let that sit. Now, hands on this chain link. Now, but we were tasked by the 195th Wing Commander to put together a training regiment that will comply with Tier 2 criteria in the event that we get activated by the uh, state of California. The National Guard will need to be Tier 2 uh, qualified. What we've done is uh, put it in two days, uh, with one day being today the qualifications portion, the M4 qualifications. Staff Sergeant uh, Tranquina is the NCOIP for, for that portion. And the other portion was led by Tech Sergeant Wooten, uh, which is our training NCO, and that consists of use of force, uh, rules of force, uh, which the uh, JAG is the one that directs that. Uh, today's training was based on the basic riflement uh, instruction per our AFI, and that was to facilitate the state requirement for the Tier 2 response. And that is a basic rifle instruction under Group C, which is the baseline fundamentals of all things rifle. The loading and unloading procedures are immediate remedial action, characteristics of the rifle, its effective ranges, and most importantly, the fundamentals of rifle instruction. Uh, fundamentals meaning uh, how to get your natural point aim, sight alignment, sight picture, and uh, the correct way to form a platform with your body in order to uh, uh, get that weapon uh, locked in and uh, successfully engage targets, moving the single shot or the center of the shot group center mass uh, each and every time you pull on that trigger. I always hope that the biggest takeaways for any one of my students is the uh, tactical confidence and full understanding of what the capabilities and the reasons why we do what we do with, uh, with the rifle as it relates to the profession of arms. We provide our wing members with uh, use of force training, rules of force training distributed by the JAG, Students will take away utilizing tools, timing, and techniques, especially with the use of force. So use of force uh, helps us understand what tools we have available. We want to be proactive rather than reactive. We want our individuals to be able to go out there and be fit to fight, psychologically, mentally, and physically. We want to provide them with the proper training that they need to succeed.